No, I don't need your help. Never ask for any man's help. I'm just telling you that you need to do something and do it damn fast. Yes, Mr. President. We can talk about it on... Friday. Oh, yes, on Friday. Yes, goodbye, Mr. President. Oh, Mr. President, listen. Um, why don't we just bury the hatchet and uh, you and Mrs. Rosalo come here for uh, supper Christmas Eve on the way to Hyde Park. Good. I'm delighted. Goodbye, Mr. President. <clears throat> I only knew he was about to say yes. I would never ever ask. <laughs> Call Al Smith and see what Democrats Yes. The package from Tiffany. Where is it? She's upstairs, right? Yeah. Tell her that to I'm going to give this thing to her and tell her I'm going to adopt her. Yeah. I'll have Kate call her. Good, yes, yes. You don't need to be nervous, sir. She's going to be the happiest little girl in the world. Damn right she's going to be. And I'm not nervous. I'm going to get her. Yes, sir. <laughs> Miss Annie, Mr. Warbucks will see you now. Thank you, Mr. Drake. Hello. Annie? Hello. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you, sir. How are you? Fine. 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 Annie! I think the time has come for us to have a very, very serious conversation. You're sending me back to the orphanage, right? No. No, no, no. no. Uh, Annie, can we have a man-to-man -man talk? Sure. <laughs> Good. Sit down. Annie, I was born in a very poor family, in what they call Elf's Kitchen. Both my parents died before I was ten. <clears throat> but in that day, I've made myself a promise that one day, one way or another, I am going to be rich. Very rich. That was a good idea. Yes, yes. By the time I was twenty-three, I made my first yeah, in ten years' time, I made that into a hundred million boy in that time. That was a lot of money. Yeah. Anyway, making money is all I've ever given a darn about. And I might as well tell you that I was ruthless to those people that I had to climb over on the way to the top. <coughs> as I have always believed in one thing you don't need to be nice to the people you meet on the way up if you're not coming back down. Um, yes, and maybe I have realized something. No matter how many Duesenbergs and Rembrandts you have, if you're alone, if you have no one to share your life with, you might as well be broke and back in the hell's kitchen. You do realize what I'm trying to tell you, don't you? Sure. Good. Kind of. Kind of? Damn! Annie, uh, I was in the Tiffany's the other day, and I have picked this off for you. For me? Do you thank the swatch? It's so nice to me. It's a silver lock, Annie, and I had it engraved. Oh, gee! I've noticed that old and broken one you always were, and I said to myself, I'm going to buy that kid a nice new lock. Thanks, Mr. Warbuck. Here, let's just No, this. no! I, I don't want any locket. Annie, what is it? It's my phone. When, when they left me at the orphanage, um, they left me with half silver locket and a note. They're, they're coming back for me. And I know being here with you for Christmas and all, I'm really lucky, but I, I, I don't know how to say it. The, the one thing I want more in all the world, more than anything else, it's a bit like the other kids. And, and the books are my own. Um, sure, it will be fine, Annie. I'll find them for you. I'll find your parents for you. I'll just get a brand. <laughs> you see, Aunt, Miss Annie, if there's anyone who can find your uh, mum and dad, Mr. Warbucks is the man. Mr. Warbucks will find your parents if he has to pull every political string that is to pull. Up to, and he clearly the White House. Believe me, please. 